He wants you to win a pair of tickets. Get ready for all the classic songs in the show critics called the most perfect musical of all time. Enter to win every day on Local 3's Facebook page. We are so lucky in Chattanooga and the surrounding areas to have blood assurance always on the ready to help anyone who might be in need in an emergency or just simply to step up when a surgery needs to be scheduled. And we, they can't do their work without your help. So this morning, Dr. Liz Culler is back on the show from Blood Assurance saying A, thank you. Yes. And B, letting you know about a kind of a new club, right, that y'all have to incentivize people to give. Exactly. Um, during the pandemic, and it, it's become increasingly difficult to collect from blood donors because when you take your mobile out, um, a lot of people are working from home, so they're not there. So we're incentivizing people in a different way. Mm -hmm. We have a hero club. Those are for people who are blood type O. They can be O negative or O positive. And if they donate twice or give a double red cell over a certain period of months, they'll get a prize in this next year. So one of the prizes is like a Yeti, cool, uh, Yeti tumbler. Mm -hmm. um, there's a nice jacket, there's a gift card. And it, you may be asking yourself, well, hey, I'm not type O, so what about me? We also have a Golden Hearts Club mm -hmm. to donate platelets. And if you donate platelets four times over the course of a quarter, you get a nice prize, again, like a Yeti tumbler or an igloo cooler or a nice jacket. I had a conversation with someone the other day about, though, the whole thing when you give is that the gift comes back to you tenfold, right? I mean, you just feel so good. So the Yeti would be a great thing to receive, sure. Yes. But to remember that it was just around Christmas time, right, Liz, that y'all were in such critical supply. There was no supply. That's right. Um, really, I have never put out a memo asking people to consider canceling elective surgeries. I've been here 16 years. I've never had to do that before the pandemic. And over the last two years, I've probably done it eight times, and including just before Christmas, unfortunately, which is a terrible time because people are trying to fit in their surgeries. Mm -hmm. before their insurance runs out for the year and things right. like that. So that's part of this program. We're trying to build in some consistency so we can better supply the patients in our community. Right, okay, so just to kind of help though clarify, when you were putting out those emails that said, hey, consider, that does not mean that we had no blood, right? I mean, if somebody had an accident, there was a supply to cover that, just not the elective? That is a great question. So we usually keep, and we don't count it in our usual inventory, but we will keep 20 units aside in case there's an accident or something like that. And okay. we really will try to not tap into that unless we have to. And of course there's inventory at the hospitals, but when we see our inventory dipping down below one day, when it's about a half day supply, that's when we put out that memo. So we are at dangerously low levels during that time, but we're not at zero. We try to be proactive. Is this something that is being that other uh, blood banks across the country are having the same problem? Everyone is experiencing the same thing because so many people are working from home. Just our habits have changed during this pandemic. So we're hoping that this incentive club will help increase some of that frequency. I think you're more gracious than I am because you keep saying that it's because people are working from home and maybe maybe that is, but is the result of us working from home that we've just gotten detached? Have we forgotten that we're all part of a collective need, do you think? You know, I think um, maybe when you go to work and the mobile comes out, um, it's marketed, it's in your email. Or it's peer flyers. pressure. That's exactly right. Your friends and you, the neighbor in the next cubicle is donating. So you jump in and you do it too. It's a nice break. Mm -hmm. You're there, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. You're getting a Coke and a little yeah. Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also an incentive for uh -huh. giving. So, okay, you mentioned that this is just if you're a type O blood type. A lot of us don't know what our blood type is. Yes. So what if you want to give? Do they come to blood assurance and then? Yes, we can do that. So if you're blood type O, you will be in that hero club, but any other blood type can be in that platelet club. Okay. So we will, um, if you come in, if you don't know your type, we will direct you to the best blood product that we can collect to help patients that day. Okay, and if you don't know your blood type and you would like to. Oh yes, we test it uh, six days a week from Monday through Saturday. So just contact us the next business day and we'll have your type. Is it important that we know our blood type? I mean, if there was an accident or something. They're not gonna, you know, trust your word. They're gonna always retype you just to make sure. Exactly. Okay, so it's okay if you don't know. You're it's not in danger. It's definitely okay. You're not in danger at all. And the platelets, what are the platelets used for? So usually it's going to be either someone with cancer. That's about 50% of what it goes to. The other 50% someone in surgery or someone going through a trauma. And we okay. had a 
lot of these right before Christmas. And I think that there are so many different locations for blood assurance now, it's pretty easy to find it's one. It's very easy. Please go to our website. And we also, if you put in your zip code, we can actually tell you the closest mobile on a particular day as well. Oh, you make it very easy. We do our best. Okay, and if you're anemic, don't give. Yes, and we do that. Uh, we do a finger stick to make sure you're not anemic because your health is our priority. We wouldn't okay. want to ever put a donor in danger. All right, then here's how you can find out. Their website is the easiest way probably for you to find out about the locations, and it's just bloodassurance.org. The, the main office down there on East 4th Street by us, the phone number is 756-0966. All you have to do is give two times in about a four-month period for blood four times a quarter for the platelets and you too could win a gift, but more importantly, the comfort of knowing that you've helped the community. That's exactly Thank, Thank you, Liz. The new year is here, temperatures are dropping, and the colder weather can make you quickly realize just how badly you need new windows. Well, not to worry, West Shore Home has you covered. I'm joined by Kirsten from West Shore right now. And Kirsten, why might somebody consider starting that window project now? So Joe, right now,